What's up guys? I'm Exotic Gaming. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another video where in this video we're going to be comparing Warzone Mobile and Valorant Mobile. We have some Warzone Mobile gameplay right here and if I fast forward a little bit, you can see we have some Valorant Mobile gameplay. Ooh, very exciting. Leaked from China. And yeah, I thought it would be really cool in today's video to just look at these two games, an equal amount of gameplay for each, and maybe formulate some opinions on which games do certain things better. I think like 50% of the people say Valorant Mobile is going to be better, 50% of the people say Warzone Mobile is going to be better. I personally think both games are going to be fantastic, and they are probably going to be some of the biggest mobile games of the past couple of years. They're going to be massive. Millions of people are going to be playing each of them. Millions of people are going to be streaming them and making YouTube videos, and it's going to be very exciting. Now, Warzone Mobile is coming out pretty soon, I would say in a couple of months. It is coming out before Valorant Mobile by quite a lot. A lot of leaks and rumors are telling us that Valorant Mobile might be coming out in 2024. So you might have to wait up to a year for Valorant Mobile to come out. So you're just going to have to sit tight and hope that it comes out maybe sooner than the people are expecting. But I do want to say before things get too chaotic here, this is not my gameplay. This is from a friend of mine known as Zero Care Bear. He is another YouTuber that makes videos on Warzone Mobile. He streams pretty much daily, makes YouTube videos. And he's one of the best Warzone Mobile game players I have ever seen. All right, he is really, really good at this game. And he has pretty much encapsulated all of what Warzone has to offer right now in this video. The only thing that's not shown is uh, regular multiplayer gameplay just because, well, I've already made videos on that myself. And I don't think multiplayer is necessarily the best representation of what Warzone Mobile really will be for the vast majority of people. It's just going to be like an optional secondary game mode that you can jump into if you're kind of sick of the battle royale. But obviously in this video, there's not going to be that much that we can compare between these two games because they are so different from one another. And the leaked gameplay out of China from Valorant isn't necessarily the best gameplay in the world. It's not like any person who's a pro player has leaked anything at all. And we've not seen leaked gameplay from Valorant in a very, very long time. I don't know what Riot Game is doing. I think they're just kind of sitting there taking months and months and months perfecting this game. Because, yeah, it's taken a lot longer than I would, I would originally expect. I kind of think like now would be when the game is ready, but it seems like it's been delayed almost an entire year. So I guess to start this whole comparison right here, as we're watching Zero Care Bear in his natural habitat, eliminating all of the noobs of Warzone, like this guy who doesn't even realize he's being shot at until it's too late. Um, this game is obviously much more focused on Battle Royale. Yes, and the gameplay that you're seeing right here is in my personal favorite game mode in Warzone Mobile. It's called Blitz Royale. Blitz Royale is a much faster paced battle royale mode. It takes around seven, eight minutes usually. You only have about 40 to 45 players in a match and it's pretty much nonstop action. It's really crazy because even though Warzone Mobile is more of a battle royale game than anything else, it's like the faster paced game out of the two. Valorant Mobile, it's all about those rounds where you have to go one round after another round after another round and eliminate all of the people, plant the bomb over and over and over again. And if you have two teams that are pretty similar in skill, then you can bet you're not going to get seven to zero, okay? It could be like seven to five, and that means you have to play like 12 rounds before you actually get a win. And that could take 30 plus minutes at a time before you finish one game of Valorant Mobile. Valorant will take more time, and that's something that you have to realize between these two. Warzone Mobile is going to be the perfect game to play, especially in Blitz Royale, if you have five minutes, you know, in between classes, for instance, and you just want to play a Blitz Royale match, see if you can get a win before the bell rings for your next class, for instance. There's not too many Battle Royale games that are like this. It's even faster paced than Free Fire, which is a very fast paced Battle Royale. And you get basically nonstop action. Like, I put a couple of cuts in this gameplay just to speed things up a little bit. But there aren't that many cuts. Like, this gameplay is about five minutes. I took out maybe two minutes. And the two minutes were from the loading screen, the warm-up area, other stuff that I don't think were that necessary to show. Now, obviously, a couple of other things to note here. You're going to see that the weapons have a very different look and feel between these both games. Um, Warzone Mobile has ridiculous recoil with like every single weapon. I have tested them out, uh, you know, when I kill people in multiplayer and I pick up their weapons, for instance, and it looks like this one that Zero Care Bear is using. I think it's called the Hive. It just looks like it's such a struggle to try to control that recoil. Valorant Mobile has pretty much none. 
There's like almost no recoil based off the gameplay. And, you know, maybe the game has changed in a year since the last time those leaks have came out. But it seems like very different in terms of the overall look and feel of the guns. So what you really need to do is practice in those training modes that both of these games are probably going to offer to get the look and feel of these weapons and see what type of game you just feel more comfortable with. Maybe that's the game that you're going to want to focus more on playing. And the nice thing is, is both of these games are so popular that there are ripoff games that you can play right now. I wouldn't necessarily say ripoffs. I would just say games that are trying to like capitalize on the whole popularity of Warzone Mobile and Valorant. For instance, for Warzone Mobile, you can play a game called Project Bloodstrike. It's a game made by NetEase, and it's very similar to Warzone in a lot of ways. The gunplay is a little bit different, but the overall game has a lot of the same features that you see in Warzone, and you can play that in preparation for Warzone Mobile whenever that game finally comes out for your region. Um, there are also other games like Combat Master that have that tactical sprint, but Combat Master a little less so just because... It is very different from Warzone Mobile. You can't really get prepared for Warzone playing Combat Master at all. And then there is this game made by some random Chinese developer. Just some random guy that decided to make Modern Warfare 2019, but for mobile. And uh, it's actually a pretty freaking solid game. It's just basically a simulator, and I did a video on it about a week and a half, two weeks ago, maybe. And um, if you actually wanted to get like a more realistic look and feel of what the weapons are like in the game, then that might be something you want to check out. I have a whole video on my channel. Just look for a video titled something like, This new game is better than Warzone Mobile. Something like that. And uh, you'll find it. I'll have a download link in, the, in that video description. And uh, it's worth checking out. For Valorant Mobile, on the other hand, you can play a game by NetEase called Hyperfront. And everybody knows about Hyperfront at this point in time. But if you don't... It's sort of like a Valorant Mobile Lite in a way, honestly. Like, and, and I wouldn't even go as far to say that it's really a light version anymore. I think both of these games are pretty comparable. When I look at gameplay from Valorant Mobile and then I play Hyperfront myself, Hyperfront's a really solid game and it's got very similar features to, uh, to Valorant. So I think that's definitely something that you want to check up on and get used to before you play Valorant if you want to get ahead of the curve, ahead of everybody else that uh, is going to be playing Valorant. It's really interesting, though, because... I don't honestly know which game is going to be bigger. A lot of people are going to say Valorant Mobile would be bigger, but Warzone Mobile is going to be like the biggest mobile battle royale, pretty much aside from Free Fire and maybe PUBG Mobile. I don't know if PUBG Mobile is still going to be as big when Warzone Mobile comes out, but it seems like PUBG Mobile and Free Fire just have their own dedicated fan bases that will not play anything else. Even if you throw the best possible game at them, they will still stick with PUBG and Free Fire. So I don't really know if Warzone's going to be bigger than those games, but it certainly will be one of the biggest. And I think it's really going to captivate a lot of people to start their own YouTube channels, to start streaming the game, and you're going to see entire new YouTubers, massive mobile gaming YouTubers, that will grow way bigger than my channel start because of Warzone Mobile and because of Valorant Mobile. We can't say that is not the case with Valorant Mobile because I think that's going to be the exact same way. Valorant Mobile is massive in the streaming community, or I should say Valorant on PC. Valorant Mobile isn't yet, but it will be. Valorant PC is massive in the streaming community. If you talk to any little kid, you know, who wants to become a YouTuber one day, now they want to be a streamer, and if you ask them what game they want to play, they're going to probably say Fortnite, and they're going to say Valorant. Those two games, like, across the board, almost every single one of them, okay? So Valorant has completely taken over the entire internet. You can bet Valorant Mobile is going to do the exact same way for every mobile gamer, okay? And it's not going to be kids. It's going to be everybody from all ages. Everybody's going to want to get a piece of Valorant Mobile. You're going to see so many YouTube channels pop up because of this and streamers and everybody. And another thing that I'd like to talk about is I don't really know which game is going to honestly be more competitive out of the two. Warzone Mobile is going to really be one of the most competitive Battle Royale games. I know there's a lot of other really good Battle Royale games that you can play right now, like uh, Farlight 84, for instance, and Apex still, you know, before the game gets shut down. But I don't think there's going to be any Battle Royale game more so than Warzone being as competitive as it is. I think it's really going to be awesome for tournaments and competitions and other stuff like that. It's literally by Activision, and Activision did massive competitions for Call of Duty Mobile all throughout its existence. You can bet they're going to do the same thing for Warzone, and it's going to be that much more intense because it's a freaking battle royale. It's not some regular 
you know, team deathmatch type of map or whatever they do in competitions in Call of Duty Mobile. I don't know. But Valorant Mobile is going to be the same way, you know? There's going to be massive competitions for this game. I can already tell. I can imagine, like, people in Southeast Asia are going to be completely taken over by this game. It's going to just be huge. It's going to be awesome, and I can't freaking wait. It's going to be really cool. Mobile gaming is just going to be so awesome over the next year or so. And also, I would go as far to say that I think uh, Valorant Mobile is going to be the game that's going to last longer out of the two. Warzone Mobile really is more about like that realistic military shooter type of thing. And, you know, five years from now, I think people are going to actually look at Warzone Mobile and be like, eh, it's okay. There's better games now than Warzone Mobile, believe it or not. There actually will be better games than Warzone Mobile five years from now. But Valorant Mobile is unique in that it has this own cartoony graphic style that's going to prolong its lifespan because people are going to look at it and not think of it as an old game, you know? So that's another interesting thing to note. And I would go as far to say that both of these games are some of the biggest mobile games probably ever indefinitely into the future. Because one thing that you need to note is as more and more games come out, the audience and player base is going to be spread out thinner and thinner. And you're never really going to have a game take over the entire scene like PUBG Mobile did back in the day because... You know, a game comes out that's as good as PUBG Mobile was when it first came out. People are going to be like, eh, well, I could still play Farlight. I can still play Warzone. I could still play Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale. I'm not going to bother, right? But when PUBG Mobile came out, it was like you literally only had Rules of Survival. And then the other games that were similar to Rules of Survival. And everybody wanted to play PUBG Mobile, you know, because why wouldn't they? So I think Valorant Mobile is its complete own league of its own and i think it's going to be one of the very last mobile games to have that sort of effect on the entire mobile gaming scene i don't think after valorant mobile comes out you're going to see other games do that there's going to be other games from different genres like you could have another pokemon go for instance and then that will take over everything but at least in terms of first person shooters and battle royales and games like that it's probably it valorant mobile might be that final big hitter like that and then every other game after that might get some decent attention, but it might be like Apex Legends Mobile Legend uh, level of attention, which is not nearly as much as Call of Duty Mobile did and PUBG Mobile did. But again, that is just speculation. We can't really talk about that when we're doing a comparison video between these two, because that is not like a proper comparison. That's just my own thoughts and opinions. If we're actually looking at the games themselves, I have to say, in terms of graphics, Warzone Mobile looks better, in my personal opinion, but Valorant Mobile looks like a game that is more ready for a global release, which is why I am very surprised they are taking so long to uh, to release Valorant Mobile. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I don't know why they would need to take an entire year longer. I guess what they're trying to do is maybe like finalize the optimization issue and servers and stuff like that. Because what I would bet is when Warzone Mobile comes out, it's not going to be that optimized. It's not going to really run well on low-end devices at all. You're going to have to have a pretty powerful phone in order to handle it very well. Valorant Mobile, on the other hand, is going to be a much more optimized game. It's going to be able to be played by many more people around the world, especially in other countries outside of, you know, the United States and Europe and Australia. Everybody, you know, Philippines, India, they're all going to be able to play Valorant Mobile. That might not necessarily be the case with Warzone because you might literally need, like, a high-end gaming phone in order to run the game successfully. This gameplay that you're seeing right here is recorded, I think, on like a Red Magic 7 or a Red Magic 8. That's what Zero Care Bear has. And even still, it doesn't look like it's completely smooth 100% of the time. It does look like there are occasional stutters here and there. And I know this from my own personal opinion because I, uh, I've i played Warzone Mobile on a Red Magic 6, which I know is a bit older compared to the newer Red Magic devices, but it's a very powerful gaming phone. It can run every other game perfectly fine, but this game is like the only game that actually has trouble running on my phone, which is very interesting. And I do hope Activision decides to optimize this game more and more because, you know, whether you like it or not, the vast majority of the world does not have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Most people have some pretty mid-range phones, some of those mid-range Oppo and Samsung phones, you guys could even let me know down below in the comments which types of phones you have, how much RAM it has, because then you can actually get a pretty good idea of which game you're probably going to be able to play. 
If you have under 4 gigs of RAM, you're probably not going to be able to play Warzone Mobile, but you will be able to play Valorant Mobile. And, you know, if you have 6 or higher, then you should be able to play Warzone Mobile when that game finally does come out. Um, it's just interesting to note. I don't really know. But I don't think there's too much else that we could possibly talk about between these two games here. We just saw another victory from Zero Care Bear. Another beautiful gameplay. But now we're going to look at the final gameplay from Valorant Mobile once again. And I don't know if this is newer or older from the other screen recording that I showed you a little bit ago. But it is still almost a year old. Which is just crazy to me. If Valorant Mobile looked this good in early 2022. It's like, what the heck are they doing? How much better does the game look like now? There's not been any leaked gameplay in such a long time. Is the game even better? Or is it pretty much exactly the same? I don't really know. They've obviously not really been doing too many tests because, you know, I feel like, and I check Chinese social media a lot. There is nothing. It is complete radio silence. I feel like some people would be leaking gameplays and screenshots and stuff like that. At least screenshots, you know? But nobody is. Nobody is. It is complete silence. Which leads me to believe that they are planning something big relatively soon. Maybe they have spent these past months just really perfecting the game as good as possible. Adding the English language. And then hopefully they're going to release some sort of alpha or beta test relatively soon. I think Valorant Mobile should do that relatively soon just to get the hype going. You know? Because the hype was there about a year ago. And then it's pretty much mostly died off. A lot of people are excited about the game, but it's not really got that level of hype that Warzone Mobile has just because, you know, Warzone Mobile, we're seeing gameplays constantly on YouTube. You're seeing people, oh, get a 25 kill win and play really, really well. But Valorant Mobile, nothing, nothing. So what I would bet is in the next couple of months, you're going to start to see more news about Valorant Mobile. Maybe not right away, but I think you might even see a social media page pop up. They might create the play Valorant Mobile Twitter handle, for instance, and they might just be like, hey, we're here. You guys ready to play our game? Tweets, stuff like that, just to get people excited. And then eventually you might actually see the real developers of this game start to post gameplays and screenshots and just little teasers to get the hype going. Um, I don't think they're going to wait all the way until the end of 2023 in order to do that. And if they do, then they're taking way too long. I don't know, man. This is not the type of game that takes five years to make. It's just a little round-based shooter game. It's not a massive battle royale. You know, games that take five years to make are like the open-world games. Like the Gangstar games, for instance. Gangstar New York is coming. That's a game that would take years to create, and that's expected. But Valorant Mobile, not necessarily. I know they want to make the game as good as possible, but, like, come on, man. You can make this game pretty quickly, I think, in my personal opinion. NetEase did that with Hyperfront, so I don't know what they're doing. This game is not that different from Hyperfront's. But we're not going to start ranting about all this type of stuff here. This is a happy video, exciting gameplay comparison between these two games. I would love to know. You've watched about like 17 minutes or so, 18 minutes maybe of gameplay. What do you think so far? What do you think about Valorant Mobile? And what do you think about Warzone Mobile? Are there any glaring issues that you noticed between these two games? Is there anything that you would like changed in the gameplay that you saw so far? Do you think Warzone Mobile needs to change its muzzle flash and the hit marker? And do you think... Valorant Mobile has kind of a weird crosshair, I'm not going to lie. It's a weird square, and it's kind of big. I think they, they might need to work on that crosshair. I never really realized that, but it's, it's a very big crosshair. <laughs> Anyways, yes. Um, is he going to get the defuse? Well done. Good job, buddy. But Valorant Mobile does have some really nice things that you can see. Like, for instance, you're going to see this in just a second when this person starts shooting somebody. When, when they shoot the gun... There's like little smoke that comes out of the barrel of the gun. Just wait when he shoots somebody. He's coming around this corner. Oh, of course, he's, he's not going to have his gun out. He's going to use his special ability, which is pretty cool. That's another thing that Valorant has that Warzone doesn't have. As I said, uh, Warzone Mobile is more about that hardcore, realistic, military shooter battle royale type thing. This game is more fantastical. You have special characters with special powers like this one right here. This type of thing where you shoot out special knives that hit the enemy like that. Little tornadoes and fireballs, firewalls, literally. That is not the type of stuff you would see in Warzone Mobile. So, you know, some people might like that aspect of Valorant. Some people might not. And I bet there's going to be a decent amount of comments from people that are going to say, ah, I don't like how Valorant is all cartoony and has these weird things. I just prefer to play uh, a CSGO mobile type of game. 
And then in that case, I would recommend playing a game called Alpha Ace. It's not out yet, but it's made by Garena. And that game is basically CSGO Mobile, which is pretty cool as well. But both of these games have a very different style of gameplay that you need to have. Uh, Warzone Mobile, much more fast-paced. You can run around, tactical sprint, go crazy. And Valorant Mobile is more about just like slowly creeping around corners and just being very, very cautious, listening out. Like, Warzone Mobile, you could get away playing that in a noisy environment and probably do pretty well. Uh, because if somebody shoots at you, you can easily see where the shots are coming from. Valorant Mobile, everybody's quiet. Very few people are shooting their weapons, and you need to listen for footsteps. You gotta have your headphones in, very cautiously go around corners, literally aim before you go around a corner. Oh, and the gameplay ended. Well, yeah, that kind of ends my little talking right there, but basically, yeah, you have to like go around corners and be very, very cautious in Valorant, which is completely different from Warzone. But hey, since the gameplay ended, uh, I think that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about Valorant versus Warzone Mobile. Do you think Valorant was better? Do you think Warzone Mobile was better? I don't really know. I'm going to have to just say both of these games are equal just so nobody gets mad at me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe for more content on both of these games, and I will see you guys in the next episode.